How's it going, all you guys and girls? The Illumination. Time to jump aboard the Loon Train. It's me, it's me, it's JJD, JJ Double J, the Illuminator here. The sweet one. Also known by almost countless other aliases and nicknames. But we won't get into that right now. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I have a co worker. He's not really in, and I apologize at this. Some guy with some type of muffler problem or whatever happens to be so far up the street and yet anyway uh, there's this guy that I work with and he's not in my department but he works uh, for the same company and he works uh, checking like uh, fire extinguishers and stuff like that he's some type of a fire marshal or something I don't even know what he is but he has this uncanny way of being, even though he's not much to look at, women are around him all the time. And his whole life, he has always had a wife and a girlfriend. His whole life. And when his wife finds out about his girlfriend, he gets divorced, his girlfriend becomes his wife, and he gets another girlfriend. This has been his thing for his whole adult life. I don't understand how, if you are his girlfriend and you know you're cheating with him and then he becomes your husband, how do you not know that he's still cheating on you when he's still making the same excuses? I mean, not that he's cheating on not that, in other words, you were the other woman. How could you not know that there might be another woman? I really think that some people purposely look the other way because the honest truth is, how do you trust someone? when you knew all of the excuses he used to make to his wife to see you and now he's given them to you. I don't understand it. All I can think of is they purposely look the other way because they don't want to know or they don't want to leave or start over or whatever. But I will say this. Shame on him and shame on them. Because there's so many great guys out there and great girls. It goes the other way too. There's so many great people out there. There should be absolutely no reason at all that you should stay with a cheat. I don't understand it. If it's a one-time thing and you think that they've changed and they really have changed and it never happened again, then maybe. If you want to forgive that person, that's up to you. But for someone who always has that wandering eye and always seems to be looking for something better, that gets so bored with his women, that he always has to have the side chick. I'm sorry, but to me, he's a scuzz. He's a nice guy to his friends, and he's very attracted to, like, people, and people are attracted to him when it comes to friends and, and women and everything, but it's like you always see him with a woman. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is at all. Uh, to me, I don't think it's right. If you are committed to a marriage, and by committed I mean if you are married, you should be committed to that marriage, or get out of the marriage. There's no reason to stay in a marriage if you are cheating. I'm sorry, I don't care what the circumstances are. It's wrong, and there's no reason to keep doing it. Other than the fact that if you're the guy, you're, you're a scrounge, okay? Plain and simple. To do that to, to two women. But the woman that knows she's the other woman, she's a scrounge too. Sorry, it's the way I feel. Nothing's ever going to change that. This guy that I work with, he's a scrounge. And even though his wife... I'm sorry. I, she has to know. She has to know. And whoever he's cheating with, who is his side chick, whoever his side chick is, she's a scrounge too. And when you see him at work, he's always around women, female co-workers. Always. He'll pay. One way or another, he'll pay. What do you think? That's, that's my two cents. That's how I feel. And it's my channel, so that's how I feel. What are your thoughts? Put your comments below. I love you all. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Illuminator, and I'll be back.
Peace, sorry man, we're all out of porridge. Son of a bitch!